All right. Sorry about being so cataclysmically late, but um, had a snafu, like a proper snafu with all of my controllers and everything, and just like they, they wouldn't work. But I had to restart my computer. I genuinely don't know what's going on with my tech today, but it seems to be like it's fuck you Friday. <sighs> so anyway, um, yeah, uh, not going to be doing Elder Scrolls Oblivion because I couldn't get Oblivion to actually work. So um, that'll be something to uh, investigate over the course of the weekend. But anyway, um, so unfreezing the Master Chief and uh, just going to do a, uh, a casual, easy mode, infinite ammo run through Halo Combat Evolved, hopefully interact with some chat. Because frankly, that's what this is all about, is, you know, socialization, nice positive place to just kind of talk and decompress, you know? Because the world is not a positive place. So we just got to make our own. Let's see if I can squeeze chat in there to be visible. Uh, sort of. How does that affect the image? Ugh, I hate that I have to use a single monitor for all of this. That is definitely on my, uh, on my to buy list is a second monitor. Even if it's just, even if it's like a small little like 10 inch monitor that way I can have something to have my OBS on. So I apologize for the pillar boxing. But it is, it, it, it's it's the best I can do. You've turned on a skull with a zero multiplier. Eh, who cares about scoring? We ain't about that life. This is a channel for filthy casuals. Hello, Celine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight you get to see me be a uh, space marine of a different stripe. Cortana, all I need to know is did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <laughs> we made a blind jump. How did they get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to combat alert alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. 
and Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Sup, AJ? Man, keep your eyes down range, fingers on your triggers, and we all go home in one piece. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close. This is going to be your lucky day. So dramatic. Sir? Unseal Thank the hushed you. casket. I'm out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. By the way, Celine, if you ever, like, want to do a co-op run through any of the Halo games, I'm like, I'm here for that. I am totally here for that. Hey, we all start somewhere. What do you think? I was just like magically good at FPSs. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. Like I'm I'm very very glad that no one will ever see my first run through Halo Combat Evolved. I was I awful. <laughs> There we go. Stand on the red square, please. I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. Sir, I'm getting some calibration errors. I'm going to invert your looking pitch. No, no. Stay away from my looking pitch. Try charging the flashing lights again. Oh, you bastards. Oh, you bastards. Mm. Ah! Oh, oh God. Put it back. Put it back. Leave it and never touch it again. Noted. <laughs> oh, I forgot these floaty jumps. No. Man, wouldn't this just be a great way for the Halo story to begin and end? <laughs> the universe is doomed because Master Chief didn't want to do his diagnostic checks. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, they're so slow. They're so slow! <laughs> How'd that work out for you? <laughs> okay, I guess we're going this way. Cover me, guardsmen. Alright, Chips Dubbo, get out of my way. Pick yourself up, guardsmen. So, I know that, like, Captain Keys is supposed to be, you know, the the consummate commander and everything, and, like, a pillar of good leadership, and his voice certainly has that effect. But he makes boneheaded decisions in all of his canon appearances in the actual games. Like, he doesn't really make a single good decision in this game. Eh, I'm not going to do the terminals. He may not keep it loaded, but I do.
Ah, the good old 50 caliber pistol. With a sniper scope. <laughs> In which your pistol becomes a DMR. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. What the hell? Did something just hit us? Yes. They're using our lifeboat airlocks to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. Clever bastards. Okay, yeah. There's my flashlight. God, I'm so used to later Halo games that have the uh, that have the reload bound to the button that this game uses for melee. Oh, you want to see something neat? See how the original graphics have the red cross on the health packs? Yeah, um, red cross kind of got angry at that because that's actually a trademarked symbol. And so, in the mid-2000s, they started coming down on game developers who were using it. So, for the remaster, they changed it. Ah, uh, crouching in this game feels so unnatural. Yeah, I love how the, the assault rifle in this game is basically a light machine gun. Admittedly, they fixed when it showed up again in Halo 3. But at the same time, then there really wasn't a light machine gun roll type weapon until Halo 4. I'm kind of surprised that throw turned out as well as it did. Oh, shit. My poor noodle brain. Muscle memory.
Actually, I'm going to take a look out this window. Detecting Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe exit. Oh, you couldn't have just given that to me to begin with? We're too close. We need to find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait. We need to get to that door that has been damaged by an explosion. Analyze it. Zoink! I don't know if I'm supposed to be headed towards Cryo B, but let's head towards Cryo B. Oh, yeah. Cool little uh, reference here. <laughs> so you can see here Petty Officer Linda 058. So she's finally canon. See, obviously, in the original graphics, there was nothing here. But, um,. Linda 058 was added to the canon in the novels to basically explain why there's a second Spartan aboard in co-op mode. And um, later she was, uh, I think, added to Blue Team, which is uh, this, this cadre that Master Chief was part of during training. And they're basically family. The only real friends that Master Chief has ever really had the luxury of having. Yeah, I don't think that muscle memory is ever going away. Nope, it's never going away. The later Halo game simply retrained me too effectively. Oh yeah, I was supposed to come from this direction. I wasn't supposed to just top that barrier. <laughs> Yeah, I need to do something about the music balance here because it is really, really quiet. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Hell if I know. We're landing on it. The autumn! It's been hit! I knew it. The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual.
sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? We'll be fine. <laughs> if I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. I really don't like these loading screens. I miss the original ones from, well, the original games. Okay, so riddle me this. Everyone is in everyone inside other than Chief is dead, right? We came down pretty hard. Now, how much does Master Chief weigh? About a ton. The armor alone is like 2000 pounds. He was not at all strapped in. Everyone on that damn lifeboat died because Chief wouldn't take a damn chair. Oh, god damn it. So I have to choose whether I'm going to be stealthy or whether I'm going to be quick. Not that stealth ever works in this segment. Yeah, they hit the ground and Master Chief just fucking ping-ponged around the inside of the life pod. <laughs> and everyone got killed. I ordinarily would not be doing this, but I have the infinite ammo skull enabled, so I'm just going to town. I miss being able to sprint already. Like, everybody gives Halo 4 and 5 shit because they let you sprint infinitely, but honestly, it was a better way of traversing the environment. Over here. 
So, Selene, are you planning on getting uh, Halo Infinite? Or at least trying it out since it's going to be on uh, Game Pass Day 1? Hey, Blue! Welcome, welcome. How about you, Blue? Are you planning on trying out Halo Infinite when it drops? I'm almost afraid to ask. Oh! Oh, I can't tell if that's hilarious or in poor taste. So yeah, I was supposed to be doing Elder Scrolls 4 today, but Elder Scrolls 4 decided that it really didn't like my gamepad at all. So we're doing Halo. I doubt Halo's going to be like a regular thing. Right now it's just kind of filler, you know? I even like fish, and fish soup is, um, not my thing. Oh, I got Sergeant Johnson. Let's kick ass, AJ! After I flip this warthog. Okay, now we go kick ass. <laughs> My other marine just cowered it out. It's like, fuck you, Master Chief, you drive like an income poop. Just you and me, AJ! Formation. No, you think? So it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network. We're actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. 
Sigint doesn't appear to be a uh, big priority of the Covenant. Fun fact, if uh, Johnson gets killed in this, in any segment of um, the original Halo, he'll respawn later. Man, I am I am feeling off tonight. Like I don't know what's up. But uh, I've just I have been tired all day. There must be some mechanism to cross this chasm. Look for a control panel or switch. Uh, I am not a Spartan. <laughs> nah, in, uh, in actual point of fact, I am a personal care assistant. I work with the elderly. Giving, you know, in home care and stuff. It is. It, it's not the hardest work in the world, but a lot of seniors can be very obstinate and stubborn. You know, they, they like things done their way, you know, no exceptions. And so even though the work itself isn't all that hard, you know, um, dealing with such demanding customers is in itself quite tiresome. Yeah, if you're IT, then I'm sure you know exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I I am actually um trained for IT, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Hmm. Purdy rocks. Punch it. 
Yeah, I actually used to be um, CompTIA certified, but I haven't renewed that in years. Mostly because no one would hire me. Beep, beep, motherfuckers. Oh, I love the crazy spins you can do in the Warthog in this game. Really? The guy with the sniper rifle is going to climb into my passenger seat. Oh, okay. I'm generally in favor of penguin facts. Oh, that is smooth. That is smooth. Well done. 10 out of 10. Triple A plus play. You did nothing wrong. <laughs> hey, hey, nerds will rule the world, okay? Our appointed hour will come. Survivors and need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. On my way. I spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near a rock slide. And another near the cliff edge. Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. <clears throat> yeah. Been there, done that, 
It ain't fun. My uh, my sister is a um, an admin assistant, and that has happened to her more times than she would have liked. Like, she'll lock up for the day, and then as she's getting ready to go, people will still, you know, like, get on the door and be like, Oh, but you're still here. Can't you help us? It's like, no. Hours are hours. <laughs> Sign says we close at 6 p.m. We close at 6 p.m. We'll do the cliff last. You have that moment where you get to scream, Did no one read the memo? Oh, yeah, I did it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, come on. That was totally a hit. Uh, I went through scuba training. Does that count? Then yes. Uh, I did it at my, uh, local Alaska club. Way, way, way back. I would probably have to redo it at this point. It was the most surreal swimming that I've ever done. Uh, it was in a pool. <laughs> there aren't really any areas in my town where you can really go recreationally diving. Like, it's a port town and everything, but the closest recreational diving opportunities are, like, God, it's like a four or five hour drive to go down to uh, the Homer Spit. And you can dive there. Sometimes, weather permitting. Dolphins alternate between really, really cool and really, really creepy. Like, for every story that I hear about dolphins, like, alerting surfers to the fact that there are sharks in the area, right? Get out of the water. You know, pushing surfers off their board. You know, time to go. I hear another story about a dolphin looking at some lady and going, Hey, how you doing? Want to make some little dolphins? <laughs> Oh, Sergeant Johnson abandoned me. Yeah, sharks are cool. Like, I had a shark phase as a kid. Yeah, one of, one of these days, I'm going to have to just do, like, an 18-plus stream. That way I could talk about all these really, really weird things. <laughs> oh my god, did I kill the guy? Oh no! Alright, snipey boy, it's you and me. Um, gosh, what is a fun fact about me? I have lots of depressing facts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, one of my favorite little, uh, factoids about me is, um... That I was starting to talk in, like, complete sentences, like, by the age of three.
like, the price I paid for that is a lot of social awkwardness, but I was actually talking by the age of three. And I can at least remember one life event going that far back, and it was a family vacation to Disneyland, and I must have been like three, three and a half somewhere, um, but... I, I remember um, trying to pull Excalibur out of the sword in the stone at Disneyland. It's like the only thing I can remember from that far back, and I have no idea why my brain decided that was the memory it wanted to hang on to. But, yeah, I totally remember trying to pull the sword out of the stone at Disneyland when I was, like, a wee toddler. I gotta say, I'm almost glad that I broke the Warthog, because this is kind of relaxing. I would have been kicked out of the lunch table, but uh, fortunately the way my school organized lunch tables, that was kind of impossible. But, yeah, all us weird kids had our end of the table. And occasionally one of the cool kids would come slum it with us. Keep st no, come back. Scuzzy elites. Too smart for their own good. Ah, damn it. Damn it, Elite. I'm not asking much. I'm just asking that you stand perfectly still so I can pull a Lee Harvey Oswald. Thank you. Yeah, sounds like uh, you and I were part of the same social club. You know, I was kind of the uh, the gawkish kid with autism, so, you know. And th this was back when, like, I think I was, like, the the second or third kid in my school district to ever be diagnosed. So, nobody quite knew what it was, nobody understood it, so I was just one of those weird kids, and... So, I, I did not have a lot of friends growing up. 
and the friends that I did have were pretty superficial. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I try to keep my streams a pretty chill place. Yeah, emotional manipulation is, like, why I quit dating. Because, like, with one exception, every girlfriend I've ever had basically treated emotional manip manipulation as, like, the thing to do. Unfortunately, the one girlfriend that I had who didn't, you know, string me along and use me to buy stuff for him and everything was a foreign exchange student who ended up going back to her home country at the end of the year. So that was fun. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. We should move out, Lieutenant, and then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. Oh, God, one of those types. Ridiculous. I want toggle. Thank you very much. Stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for marine support. I wouldn't consider him an X then. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until Favorite you band. I would say probably Nightwish. I've been a very, very long-term fan of Nightwish. Ah, My Chemical Romance. Same energy. Believe it or not, I actually used to dislike My Chemical Romance because they were so popular at my school. It ended up creating kind of... A reverse psychology kind of dislike. I've since warmed up to them. Yeah, um... That's a thing that... 
used to be true about me was that I tended to dislike things that were popular if my brain judged them as being too popular. Like, someone's got to dislike them, may as well be me. Yeah. <laughs> Motion tracker shows movement around the next bend. We'll be ready to advance as soon as you call for us, Cortana. that they're really difficult to track down. Big feet, they're really hard to track down. We have scoured the Pacific Northwest and never found one. <laughs> what do they say? But surely you can't be serious. Solution. Strap a bowie knife to your thigh. <laughs> but seriously, like, that, that is the sort of logic that I usually apply. When someone tries to bring one of those restrictive arguments to the table. Like, at one point, I was, um... I was discussing, um... Gun control stuff with my dad. 
And, um... Quick version is, I'm for it, he's against it. Very against it. And he's like, well, what would you use for home defense? And I'm just like, crossbow. And that caught him off guard, because he was not expecting anyone to say crossbow. I'm like, well, it's not a gun. <laughs> In a lot of states, it doesn't fall under firearms regulations the same way. And you get a crossbow bolt anywhere in your body. You will shut down for at least the rest of the day. Like, when you, when you get a crossbow bolt stuck in your chest or your thigh, your thoughts cease to be, I'm gonna rob this guy and, holy shit, get this thing out of me, get me out of here. <laughs> so, not allowed to keep a pocket knife? Strap a bowie knife to your thigh. Then he can go, well... It's not a pocket knife. <laughs> Plus, then you get to be like, Ha! That's not a knife! This is a knife! <laughs> but yeah, my, uh, my, my dad has since come back to the crossbow argument trying to come up with the reasons why, oh, technically crossbows wouldn't be allowed. And I'm like, uh-uh-uh, you framed the debate, I answered. <laughs> Not my fault you didn't think of the right parameters to use. <laughs> Reminds me of that, um, that, uh, Tumblr post of... I, I, I was in the moment where I was like, man, I need an adult. And then I realized I'm 27. I am the adult, but I still need an adult. An adult here, adult. <laughs> Wow, he went down like a bitch. Okay, even for easy mode, those hunters are bring shame to their kind. Uh, yeah, I've, I've met the family of a couple of exes. Um, okay, that happened. In, in the case where I met, where, where I hadn't met the family already. Oh man, I don't, God, I, I don't think I ever got along with her dad. <laughs> ever. He was pretty determined to not like me from the moment I walked in. And he did not start 
treating me in a even slightly friendly fashion until she had left the state. <laughs> like, you know, once once the risk of becoming an accidental grandfather was gone, you know, then he was inclined to trust me. In the other case, um, and this was in the case of the uh, foreign exchange student, um, I actually was already friends with her brother by the time that I started dating her. <laughs> Which, surprisingly, never got awkward. Uh, I managed to somehow score Weeb Gold, and I managed to date a chick from Japan. Well, that's a development. <laughs> Wow, that's an anime plot line. Like, literally an anime plot line. I have seen anime with exactly that plot line. I used to kind of want kids. And, um, not anymore. I have biological issues. Find a way to open this door. Like, I have the aforementioned autism. I've got scoliosis. I've got ADHD. I, I, I just, I've got a grab bag of genetic bugs and glitches that I kind of don't want to pass on to another generation. So I've stopped wanting kids. Like, maybe at some point I would adopt, but that's, you know, that that's kind of my limit. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, my bloodline ends with me. Like, I, I have, you know, cousins who have, you know, far fewer genetic issues to pass on, and they already have kids, so as far as, far as I'm concerned, the family line is secure. I don't need to have kids of my own. God, what, what was that post where it's just like, you know, I don't want to have kids. Sounds whiny. Non-committal. The bloodline ends with me. Narrative. Dramatic. Full of resolution. That's, um... Also a development. <laughs> That I am not sure I'd be cool with. Oh, 
All right, let's go save the world's worst captain. Oh, right, I have a sniper rifle. Don't need sniper rifle. Acquire plasma rifle. Plasma rifle's kind of weird in this game. Because, like, it and in later Halo games, they ended up splitting this up into, like, three different weapons. Yeah, that's, an, that's another aspect of having kids that I don't think a lot of people think about. Like, not, or at least not to the degree that they should. Is that having kids essentially represents putting breaks on whatever professional life you are planning on having. Like, if you're lucky, it's just, you know, putting the brakes on it for, you know, 15 to 18 years. But it could be a lot longer. How did that clip right through him? Yeah. Yeah. Um I would not want to be uh bringing kids into the world during an active pandemic.
Well, playing them, playing one of them right now. Um, Halo is one of those series I keep coming back to. Um, Fallout 4 has uh, ended up a favorite, mostly just because I can turn it into whatever game that I want. Because mods. Um, Skyrim, very much the same reason. You know, where Fallout can become whatever shooter-based game you want, Skyrim is whatever fantasy game you'd like it to be. But I'm a, I'm a big fan of Elder Scrolls in general. Like, Elder Scrolls was... It may have actually been the first video game I ever encountered. Uh, Elder Scrolls Arena. But, like, um, I had, um, these, uh, th these neighbors, uh, the Marlows, back when I was a kid. And their sons, Zach and Greg, were big-time gamers. Um, you know, had a super-hot power PC for, you know, all the PC gaming. And then, um, a, uh, Super Nintendo and everything. So they were my uh my gateway into uh the world of gaming as a kid. Uh cuz later they even got a Genesis. You know, the Marlows were like their their dad was uh big into real estate development. So a lot of money and sons blew a lot of that cash on video gaming stuff. And you know, they they'd show me, you know, their latest catches and uh so one of those very early on i was about four years old was elder scrolls arena the very first elder scrolls game and i was immediately smitten with the game because i had no inkling prior to that of a uh, of the ability to craft you know whole damn worlds inside this box with a screen attached And so, Elder Scrolls Arena was the game that really opened my eyes to what video games were and could be. And I've been very devoted to Elder Scrolls ever since. I've given Monster Hunter World a couple of tries. Um... It's not a game that I would really play solo, and I, I've tried some of the uh, the PSP games as well, and I, I stand by this criticism, which is that they're not, to me, single-player experiences that I would necessarily invest my time into, but as co-op games, they're brilliant. I did get a kick out of the, uh, the Monster Hunter levels in uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, though. Well, I think Monster Hunter World is on, um, is on uh, Game Pass. Actually, let me check, because it may actually be on PC Game Pass. Yeah, I will check that right now. Yeah, let's see. Monster Hunter. Do, 
I will say that um, owning Xbox Game Pass Ultimate has been one of my favorite purchases of all time. And it's like up there with my Spotify subscription. It's never leaving. (laughs) I will always pay that. Nope, it is not on PC Game Pass. Not yet. Yeah, Game Pass is uh, absolutely worth the money, even on PC. And um, I'm I'm gonna shill just for a, a, a second here. Bear with me. But if you get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you also get the ability to play a bunch of the games that are in the Game Pass library on the cloud on your phone or your tablet. And while it's, it's definitely not the same experience as playing them, you know, natively on your device. I will say there, there there's something special about being able to boot up like sea of thieves or elder scrolls online on my Android phone when I'm out and about and play with some friends. It's, it's a really cool experience. Anyway, that that that's my shill. <laughs> like Microsoft totally doesn't pay me to say that, but if if they want to, I will take the money. I I will happily take the money. Microsoft, you should pay me. I I will advertise your stuff all day. But no, the the service really just kind of is that cool and that convenient. Oh, I hate this part of the stage. So easy to get turned around. <laughs> ah, it's very kind of you to say. Yeah, I'm probably going to wrap this up in about 20 minutes anyway, because... Um, the, the, this isn't exactly the uh, the stream that I was planning on having, you know? But, um, and, I, and I'm kind of tired tonight anyway. It's okay, Marine. You can say the bad word. Well, Stardew Valley is not really my thing, but I will still be willing to give you a follow and, you know, cheer you on regardless. It it doesn't ever really help that uh, Stardew Valley was um, first advertised to me as, like, Farmville with more features. And... (laughs) That was right after Facebook had really started forcing Farmville down everybody's throats. But yeah, like apparently Stardew Valley's got like a whole story and everything. Like, I, I regularly find fan art of some of the characters on Tumblr and stuff. So, yeah. Apparently there's more to it than uh, what I was told. Marines, let's move. 
Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Chief, you have the point. The hobo. <laughs> he doesn't get a name. He's just the hobo. <laughs> we should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the rest of this mission and probably call it quits for tonight. Man, my fellow Marines are so violent. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting plasma grenades don't have the trajectory of the regular frags. So apparently Stardew Valley takes place in a uh, bizarre timeline where uh, Linus Tech Tips has fallen on hard times. Uh, I tend to just go by Lumi online. And, you know, there, there's, there's a story behind the name. But it's, it's also kind of a lengthy one. <laughs> Lou and blue. Oh man, we're trapped in here. We're screwed. We're screwed, man. Show the belly of your chest and remember you're a level. Cortana, if you and the chief can get us into one of those covenant dropships, I can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a covenant dropship still docked. Yeah, good night. Nice seeing you drop by. I mean, there's like only a couple minutes left here if you just want to stick it out. Just a little bit longer. Oh, Dead Island. I have always wanted to finish that, but it's it's kind of boring to just play it single player. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's uh, this is a good spot to call the stream early. Yep, that's the edition that I have as well. I wish 343 would give me a way to uh, boot this game into, um, into no anti-cheat immediately. Because I don't like grinding for all this stuff. Because it demands that I go into multiplayer a bunch and I detest multiplayer. Like with every fiber of my being, I hate competitive multiplayer. Um, 
So I tend to use mods or cheats or whatever to just unlock all this stuff, and 343 will not let me just boot into no anti-cheat mode. Yeah, I, I tried playing, uh, what was it, Dying Light, and... One, I never could get a hold of the parkour controls. Two, the um, the combat just didn't feel the same either. Like, um, like Dead Island has kind of a groove to its melee combat that can be super satisfying. But yeah, I, I would not mind starting a new Dead Island campaign. Because it's basically Left for Dead Tropical Edition. Yeah, I never even got to Riptide because I was never able to beat the first Dead Island. I had a, um, a group of randoms that I was playing with for a while. And, you know, we actually ended up you know, sending friend requests and meeting up on the regular to play Dead Island. And then um, after finishing the first couple of acts, they just kind of boogied off. Oh, man, I, I don't know any any of them well enough to know them by name. Um, crap, what's her name? Not gonna lie, using uh, <laughs> using Google here. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, I gotta say, when I started playing the game, I was immediately drawn to Perna. And she's just, I love the fact that she's just perpetually done with everybody's bullshit. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of, like, Worst Pre-Made Ever, and their Dead Island campaign is a big reason of that, just because it's four friends who hate each other playing Dead Island together, and, um, and it's hysterical. <laughs> like, that can be something that you do when I sign off in a couple of minutes is like go onto YouTube, look up worst pre made ever, Dead Island, and just watch their highlight reels from beginning to end. Because, like, it, it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you watch um, Remy Down Under Gaming or Soviet Womble or anything, but it's kind of that dynamic just with even more loathing. <laughs> So you have four best friends who despise each other and they're playing this cooperative game together and constantly just pulling crap on each other. Also, that one girl got a lot of champagne. <laughs> Ooh, champagne! <laughs> yeah, um, worst pre-made ever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will actually, uh, throw a link, too, because their stuff is hysterical.
They also uh, stream on Twitch, but they are um, they are U they are uh, UK time zone. So their stuff doesn't always uh, line up. I think they have a playlist for uh, Dead Island, don't they? Yeah, there is their Dying Light playlist. Left for Dead, Dead by Daylight. There's Dead Island. Yeah, so it's three videos. And, um... <laughs> it's absolutely... Genius. Yeah, most most of their videos are like below the fifteen minute mark, so it's it's really easy to uh, just kind of get sucked in and just watch a whole bunch of them. But yeah, I, I think the description of four people who hate each other playing together is, or four best friends who hate each other is super accurate. Because <laughs> they really are friends, but at the same time, they just cannot stand each other. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tend to like YouTubers that um, that have that dynamic. <laughs> Antagonistic friendships are the best friendships, at least for securing YouTube views. <laughs> like, if you're not screaming a bloody murder at each other, are you really playing cooperative correctly? Yeah, with that, I think I am going to uh, call it early tonight. You know, just uh, for some reason, I have been like super tired all week. But I should be back Monday, and hopefully by that point I'll have Oblivion working. If not, I'll figure out something else to play. Might be more of Halo. Might not be. Um, yeah, if you're on Twitter, you know, um, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Um, I don't have a Discord server yet, but I'm working on one. And I try to keep my Twitter a pretty chill place. Yes, that looks correct. Yeah, so mostly... Um, you know, game-related posting, everything. But I also use it to announce updates for my Twitch channel. Yeah, so with that... I will... Go ahead and set up a raid for everything that's worked. At least if it will 
boot up fast enough for me to set up a raid. I will set up a raid. Nope, not doing it fast enough. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Be safe, have fun, light no one on fire.